if your aim is to get into the iit if you are an average student or you are a college student so that you cannot give 100 percent time for your gate preparation then you are at right place this is shivam dikshit welcome to physics wala gate wala so today we are going to discuss five simple tricks to get 60 plus marks the very first point that should be clear in your mind that if you want to go for higher studies and you are targeting 99 marks then it's going to be waste if you get 99 mar marks then you are not going to study into the moon or something you have to study in iit or isc so for that 60 65 marks are more than enough so Sometimes I have seen that some people are targeting 99 marks or 100 marks, but they are land up to the 40 marks, 35 marks. But sometimes students are just focusing on 70 to 80 marks systematically and they are landing up, up to 60, 65 marks and easily getting the IIT with a good branch. So today I am going to discuss the, the tricks or tips that you or some thumb rules that you need to follow to get 60 plus marks and if you are in fourth year or third year you just want to pursue your uh, higher studies you want to go into iit or isc then these marks are more than enough so one by one i will share you the strategy okay so the very first thing is that understand the syllabus and exam pattern i have seen that when a student start their preparation then they they start using lot of resources they think that if i get lot of knowledge then uh, then easily i can get into get a top notch rank or get a better marks or something but you please try to understand one thing that gate is not a knowledge test if gate is a knowledge test they can they, they can write no, uh, uh, knowledge test in engineering right graduate knowledge test in engineering but what they wrote exactly graduate aptitude test in engineering aptitude means ability to apply the logics right so knowing logic is not going to help you for example if you know what is first law of thermodynamics if you know what is kirchhoff's law right but that is not going to be asked in gate exam what they will ask they will ask numerical problem on it so you must have to learn the concept as well as as well as you have to focus on your aptitude skills you have to strengthen your numerical solving ability this is the very very first thing so sir what you are suggesting for that suggestion is very very simple if you are studying let's say 10 r not necessary sir in one day in two or three days you are studying total time of 10 hours then 5 to 6 hours only you have to spend for solving the numerical problem if you are giving 6 to 7 hour or more than that to read the theory or only concept believe me my dear student friends your strategy need to be changed your strategy have some problem you cannot score uh, good marks the people who have very good knowledge i have seen that people who have very good knowledge they throughout the year they are studying in depth knowledge books and you know the reference books and they got uh, very you know uh, conceptual clarity is very good good but still they land up to the 40 marks why because they did not develop the numerical solving ability so please try to understand the need of the exam the need of exam is numerical solving ability and the another very important point you have to understand the syllabus right see let's say to, in total syllabus 100 topics are there but all 100 marks are not going to be distributed equally it is not like 100 concepts are there 100 marks are there so for each concept one marks will be asked no some of the topics are there which are very very important and some of the topics are there which are not that much important 40 percent syllabus is there from which 80 percent of the question is going to be asked right and remaining 50 to 60 percent syllabus hardly 
20 to 30 percent questions are going to be asked so you have to identify what is that 40 to 50 percent of syllabus from where 60 to 70 percent of question is going to be asked right that you need to understand so understand the syllabus syllabus does not means that you are going through the syllabus these, these these topics are there in the syllabus no i'm talking about each and every topic importance not even subject topic let's say uh, thermodynamics is there just for an example i'm taking in thermodynamics basic thermodynamics part if i consider then six to seven marks are going to be asked and around seven topics are there right seven chapters are there and uh, uh, six to seven marks going to be asked it does not means that in every chapter one marks will be asked first law of thermodynamics from this is the third chapter basically from here three to four marks average three to four marks are coming from this chapter and there are some chapters like uh, thermodynamic relation even the the very first chapter basic concept from these few chapters rarely questions are asked in last 10 to 15 years if you see hardly two to three questions are going to be asked so you must know that which topic or which subject is important then only you can set your priorities clear so this is the very first thing that you need to understand the syllabus you need to understand what is exactly the need of the exam and you have to develop the uh, numerical solving skill right numerical solving ability right so this is the basic very first point the second point is a result oriented study as i have told that uh, some topics are very very important like 50, 40 to 50 percent syllabus is very very important if you cover that 40 to 50 percent of syllabus thoroughly then you can easily get 60 65 marks there may be some subject right which are very very good you may like that subject very much like for example uh, material science is there right as far as gate is concerned material science is a very big subject and very interesting subject when you, you when you start studying it you can spend you know months to read that subject but how many marks it is asked hardly one or two marks even some some of the time it is not asked at all so you have to study result oriented study means the topics which are relevant important for the exam you have to give priority to those particular topics clear so this is a second technique so you have to identify in every subject what are those topics believe my dear student friends uh, in every subject let's say a total 12 subjects are there one 10 technical subjects are there in most of the branches uh, maybe one two subject plus minus possible so i am taking average so average in every branch 10 subjects are there technical subject maths and aptitude maths and aptitude you cannot leave you cannot leave maths and aptitude because maths contain approximately 12 to 15 marks 15 marks aptitude contain 15 marks so this is approximately 28 to 30 marks which can easily score which you can easily score so out of these 30 marks anyhow you have to score 20 marks so 20 marks will come from maths and aptitude maths and aptitude 20 marks are gone now how many marks you need to get now you required 40 to 45 marks out of 70 marks and how many subjects are there 10 subjects are there now now you just have to give the priority you just have to check the syllabus and previous year paper that which topics are important in every subject i have seen that only five to six topics are there through which most of the questions are coming or most of the questions are being asked right so those five in every subject those four or five topics should be very very strong very very strong then only you can get a good uh, good marks with less effort very important because you are a college going student you cannot uh, uh, give your 100 percent time for gate preparation you may not complete the whole syllabus there may be chance there may if you are in third year or you are in fourth year so it may be 
chance that you may not complete the syllabus even if you try to complete all the syllabus then you will not able to dedicate your time for uh, numerical solving you may not uh, dedicate your time for revision test and all those things so that is actually more important rather than completing all the syllabus clear so result oriented study is required the another one is practice with previous year paper you may heard that uh, people are used to say that in gate questions are not repeated yes you are 100 percent correct questions are never repeat but concept always repeats please try to understand 30 to 40 percent question i'm talking about in technical 30 to 40 percent questions are similar question not same but similar question as the previous year means out of 70 marks of technical right approximately 20 to 25 marks even sometimes 30 marks are just similar to the previous year papers so you have to solve previous year paper at least three times right at least three times right so previous peer paper you have to practice a lot 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 because this will give you 30 marks this can give you 30 marks in worst scenario if you practice these these uh, you know previous year paper thoroughly 25 marks easily you will get so now how many marks done 20 marks from maths and aptitude 20, uh, 25 marks with the help of a previous year paper total 45 marks done still uh, uh 15 to 20 marks are required right okay no problem no problem now now use the short notes and formula sheets see if you are studying through any resource right first thing use as less as possible resources i have seen that uh nowadays in internet lot of lot of sources are available if you see let's say thermodynamic subjects are there more than 20 30 teachers have taught the, this subject in the in youtube even you can see that uh, number of books are there lot of content material pdfs are available in the market but you have to use limited set of resources first you just go through with the material whatever you are going to use let's say you are going to you want to use my my videos so what you need to do first just go through with few videos two three four videos and if you feel that it is a relevant video then after that you have to believe on me then you don't have to look at any other video you don't have to look at, at any other resources why i'm saying this because if you study thermodynamics from me then from other faculty then from notes then from books then you will not able to complete even three subject in one year right so your goal is to get result oriented study right so result will only come when you will use the limited set of resources that is the first point another very important point that whatever resource you are using revising that resource is going to be a very very difficult job because when i teach uh, thermodynamics right even basic thermodynamics will take approximately 60 to 70 hours so revising 60 to 70 hour content is not going to be easy at, at the at the last moment of the exam in the for so for that purpose you have to make your short notes and formula sheet short notes is nothing but a digestible form of summary digest which you can easily digest long notes you cannot digest easily right so it is a digestible form of summary that you have to use okay so you have to prepare short notes now the next very important one is last but not the least no need to cover the complete syllabus no need to cover the complete syllabus see if your aim is to get 60 to 65 marks then you can target 80 to 85 marks that's it so still you have a scope to leave 15 to 20 marks so you can leave this sub like you can use few subject let's say uh, you have seen that material science is very low weighted subject so you can leave that subject you may see that some subjects are there which is very very less important as well as very very difficult you can leave that subject no problem 
even in some subject you have seen that some of the topics are very scoring and easy you just cover those topics leave remaining topics you are getting my point or not right so no need to complete all the syllabus because i have seen that uh, uh, to cover the complete syllabus sometimes students are not able to dedicate their time for numerical problem pyqs mock test revision short notes right so rather than completing all those syllabus without revision it's better to complete only 70 to 80 percent of your syllabus and revise it well practice it well you will get easily 60 to 65 marks so these are the few points that uh, that uh, you need to be considered when you are uh, you are targeting 60 to 65 marks okay even if you want anything any help from our side like physics wala side we are with you you can ask any doubt from us in comment box you just leave your comment right we will definitely answer you and even if you want if you have any query that please make a video on this particular topic that also you can comment we will surely make video on that particular topic so if you have any type of problem during your preparation strategy scheduling time management any problem is there you just comment on the comment section we will make the video on that and surely we are here to help you thank you thank you very much